Journalist Jonathan Cho is exploring Seattle when suddenly this guy wants to cut Cho's visit short. Come back and look at that. Why you coming with an axe at me? Why are you coming with an axe? So shout out to Cho Show on Twitter, where apparently getting heckled on the street for having an amazing voice is nothing new. Fellow and journalist at Discovery Institute's Wealth and Poverty team, and it's been quite a year. You're a liar. Get this. Get the out of here. Smash it. So when a guy runs up on him with a hatchet, it's just another day at the office. But sadly, Twitter users claim this was staged. And I can say with confidence, that person doesn't visit homeless encampments themselves. Now, I don't live in Seattle, but the encampments in Los Angeles pretty much had the same issue with transient gladiators. Well, I've actually been told by LAPD to not ride the new bike paths by the river, as they've completely lost control of the area due to the transient encampments. Now, several people are telling Cho he needs to carry so he can better defend himself. Which would make sense, but remember, this is a deep blue area with hyper-woke DA. Remember the axe attack at McDonald's in New York City? That guy basically became a local celebrity. And I believe it's because he didn't actually get any person, just the McDonald's property. So the people of the NYC McDonald's, Jonathan Cho, and you if you unfortunately stumble into one of those cities, find yourselves in a bit of a quagmire. Because defending yourself from a disadvantaged group before they actually harm you will probably cause public outrage because social justice. Because apparently you're supposed to just wait and hope that they don't actually do anything to you. And you have to put your safety in the hands of insanity because this all reminds me of the store owner in san francisco that holds a transient in front of his store the video went viral the public became outraged and the man was eventually arrested but listening to his explanation is just sad i'm out there once again cleaning her mess washing it down trying to clean up stuff and i just snapped when she went off in her belligerent you know tongues and stuff i didn't know what else to do it was getting so frustrating I find it hard to apologize when we've had no help of this situation. Now, in no way do I think what he did was good, but it does illustrate where we are in society right now, where she can vandalize the front of his building all day, every day. He can call the police 25 times with nothing actually being resolved, so he just needs to accept that this is happening to him, because forcefully removing her from the streets looks bad. Just imagine if Jonathan Cho was running away from the hatchet guy, and Seattle police just happened to be driving by. Does the copper really want to be the officer that stops Cho from being axed, and then get vilified? in social media for being in the wrong place in the wrong color because I don't know what solves this right now but I'm just gonna go by Elon's book suggestion of everyone that disagrees with me online is probably just a Russian bot so if you appreciate my concise lighthearted commentary on current events please consider subscribing to my channel then check out my video on how New Orleans is stopping carjacking with gumbo